today I'm at the Kobe Motorhome Caravan and Outdoor Super Show. Look at this is the Australian style. The pop top. Kind of the trailer with the uh, tent folds out. Better for the tougher terrains, but not so popular in New Zealand for some reason. I think part of it may be colder climate, so I don't know, it'd be like living in a tent. Only good for certain uh, temperatures. <laughs> but it's a cool idea. It folds down to a really small trailer. It'll just be easier to tow. I really like the exterior of these. They just look beautiful, but I don't know the practicality of them. They might might be good for a week and away options. Gosh, beautiful looking. This one's such an interesting design. It's like the size of a small two berth, but it's uh, it's got a bed that you can have made up the whole time, and it's a super shower. We're recognising that there's a you know a need in the market for an entry level camper. If you've got a van, yeah, yeah. we'll fit it out for you. These ones we're putting here are on second hand new ish. Uh, Japanese imports are sort of done around sort of 20 to 80,000 k's, just a few years old, and um, and we built this pop top on them. So you can just pull that down for travel. This whole front space converts into a double bed, um, and it's designed just for people who want to have a go. Ooh, a couple of these on the road. Perfect for people with motorhomes who want a car to get around. So you just take them off and no, put them in the boot. Very neat. I've seen these uh, online and I'm actually excited to see it in, in real life. It's a car rental company that have branched out into these caravans. So you can just rent them through them. And I think it's an awesome way to just get a feel for caravanning, really. What is it like towing a caravan around and you can just hire it for a week and travel around New Zealand? This guy's done a lot of travel. Look at where he's gone. <laughs> More American vehicles are turning up all the time. Oh, I love that window. That would be such a cool view. And a shower. I'm jealous of any caravan that has its own shower. So it looks like the bed pulls out fill the whole area. It's slightly easier to get in and out of bed than mine. Oh and a full-size fridge. Like this, just on top of a vehicle and seems to have everything you need. Even a shower possibly. Super cute. So the company who did my solar panels and uh, I bought the batteries from are also at the Super Show. <laughs> Why should you have a DC fridge? Because they're reliable, they use very little power and they work well. As long as you've got solar set up done properly, you can run them indefinitely. I am ridiculously excited that this has wheels. And mine's currently starting to leak and I've just found out I can get the parts. So the question is, how much do I want a wheeling cassette? I found my insurance company as well, they're all here. They deal specifically with mobile homes. And I also had a chat with the staff at Wireless Nation. apply for a fuel saving card that is something that I think I've had the forms for a couple of months now and I just haven't got around to filling them in. So I finally did it on the show. This is really 
intriguing. I haven't seen something like this. So Jayco is an Australian brand and they seem to go, they go for quality and off-road aspects or like chunky tyres and they seem to be quite content doing some of the um, hop outside so this is kind of what a, that's where the bed is. I think this is my favourite caravan that I've spotted so far. It's, uh, it's got a good island bed, it's got its uh, separate shower and a seating area. Everything you kind of need. Yep, fridges. <laughs> and each one's got its own thermostat so you can set the meat oh, to the right. Oh, okay. And they're specially designed for caravans so they make no noise. 